So you have two first names, or is, is the your first name? The Schmo. The Schmo. See, I'm a stutterer. Yeah. So I'm going to have to spend a lifetime learning how to say Schmo. But the, I can say. Can I just call you the? It's okay. You can call me the. You can call me whatever you want, Bill, because you're a legend. No, I'm not. NBA I'm Hall Bill. of Famer. I'm Bill from San Diego. Eight months ago, the Schmo had a dream. Today, the dream comes true. The Schmo and the Pro... Bill Walton. You okay? I'm okay. You look fantastic. Thank you. I'm not Man. as good as you. Well, I feel fantastic, but I'm 64, and I'm old, in the way, fat, and bald. And So right now, from the knee down, it's all one bone. And I have no feeling down there or anything, but I'm doing fantastic. I know. You got a special chair here. It helps you with chair. the back. You got your chair. You br He brought his own chair here. Right. You did too, I thought. No, well, you know, no. You know, everyone, the Bill, Bill picked out two chairs for the schmo here, two seats so I can be on his level. I want to know, I want to know where I can get some shoes some like shoes that. Some shoes like that, this. That is cool. Special order over here. You like these? Yeah, very Gordy, right? Yeah. Very fantastic. The schmo. The schmo. So I got a lot you're to talk looking, about. Looking good. I'm looking good. Now, now the, there's a lot to How talk are you about. Feeling? I'm feeling great. Now, the schmo's an Arizona alum, like your son, Luke. Now, one. Wait a minute. Oh, you're an Arizona alum? Alum. The Cats, greatest conference, Conference of you're, Champions. You're a member of the Conference of Champions? I'm a member of the Conference of Champions, and I was a one time member of that Zona Zoo. That is cool. I'm taking that flag, man. I mean, that mic flag when we're I'll done. I'll send you one, though. No, man. I'm taking that one. I'm not going to wait. I'm okay. just going to take it. Okay, we'll when, we're when we're done. When we're done. When we're done. I know you love the big men. I know you love to board, the rebound. I love people. You love people. I love people who come to play. I love people who bring it. Jerry Garcia, Grateful Dead, Bob Dylan. Summer of Love. Summer of Love, 50th anniversary this yeah. year. It's going to be fantastic. It was 67? Yeah, 67. I was 14 years yeah. old. Schmo wasn't alive, but he knows you're 14. Yes, it was. It all started for you then, right? I know. It was fantastic. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'd, I'd already gone to my first Grateful Dead concert that summer. And so it was uh, spectacularly fun. I've been going now for... This is 50 years ago into Grateful Dead concerts, but I go to a lot of concerts and I like a lot of music. And but it, the Grateful Dead family—that that's what I love. I love team. I love purpose. I love people, passion, programs, progress, projects, and all, all the different things that go down every single day. And, and you know, my favorite player ever was Bill Russell, who. What I really loved about Bill was that he played for others. He played to make the other guys the star, and he was determined on every possession, every trip up and down the court, he was going to do something to make his team better. And that's the way I try to lead my life every single day. Every time I walk out that door, every time I, I, I step on stage, every time I come and have a new interaction, with the schmo, the schmo, with the S C H M O. Okay. Yes, right. So, Coach Luke, right. your son, is coaching one of the most famous franchises in NBA history, next to your Celtics, the Los Angeles Lakers. But the Lakers aren't doing very good, and a lot of people are looking into the strategy of tanking. You know, not playing their best players and playing the young talent, seeing them so they can position themselves to protect one of those top three picks in the NBA draft. What's your thoughts on that strategy, not playing your best players? I'm Luke's dad, and I want what's best for Luke. And I'm the proudest and luckiest dad in the world. And I just keep telling him every day how much I love him. The job of a coach is to make the players better. The job of the coach is to make them better as people. Think of Phil Jackson, think of Greg Popovich, think of Pat Riley, Red Auerbach. Jack Ramsey, John Wooden, Dean Smith, all the legends, that's what they do. And you have to think as the coach, you have to think big picture. Don't think one day. It's, it's the perspective of the long road ahead. And so with Luke's job, now working with Magic, now working with Rob Polinka in a new direction for the Los Angeles Lakers, we just hope and pray that it's all gonna work out. And my job, is to be Luke's dad and to just tell him every day how much I love him and how proud I am of him. I'm the luckiest and proudest dad in the world. And you do a great job at that. And let's transition now. I know you like transitions. The great thing about basketball is that all the language, the dialogue, the, it, it, it's all about what works in 
life that works in business. Transition, rebound, turnaround, change of pace, change of direction, crossover, momentum. Turnover. Turnover. Yeah. We try to keep it positive with the schmo. The schmo. Yeah, the definitely. Schmo. You know, you're the. I've I've met guys with two last names, but yeah. you're the first guy with two first names. I mean, this is very unique term for me, and, and a gigantic challenge, because I'm a stutterer, and it's just very difficult. The schmo. Bill, you talk great. Usually, the schmo dominates these conversations, I, but I'm just listening to you if talk. I was calling a game that you were playing in. I'd probably just end up having to call you the, because. I need the short. Do you think the schmo would be better down low, you know, battling with the boards, or you think I'm more of a leader, a point guard, kind of like Alonzo Ball? You look more like the combination of Michael, Larry, Magic, Oscar, Kobe, LeBron. Put it all together with, with, with a little dash of Steve Nash there, and maybe a big splash of Bill Russell. Maybe a couple of throw it downs with Shaq. Throw it downs, but you said you said the magic word. The schmo's a Chicago guy, Michael Jordan. Oh my god! So you got to read this book. You got to read this book, Sam Smith's. Sam Smith. There is no next. The legacy of Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. You're a great father. You don't get in all the business of Luke, and you want what's best for him. But there's an outspoken father in the Conference of Champions, LeVar Ball, talking real heavily about his son Lonzo Ball. What's your thoughts on that? You know, how opinionated he is, wanting him to come to your son's Lakers, and he's the best. He's going to not win five rings, six rings. He's going more than six rings. What's your thoughts on all that? LeVar is a very proud dad. And I do not know LeVar. I look forward to hopefully getting to meet him and know him. I, I know Lonzo, who is tremendous. Lonzo has a real chance of being the next great player. He, he is very special. He's got a lot of magic. He's got a lot of Bill Russell. He's got a lot of Steve Nash in him. Incredibly skilled, fabulously gifted, wonderful personality. And he's got a dad that loves him. And I have not met Lonzo. I have not met Lonzo's younger brothers, and I have not met his mom. I have not met his dad either. But I, I just call the games. I look forward to the day getting to know this wonderful family. But I learned over the course of my life. Now I learned this mostly from John Wooden and from Thurgood Marshall to never get in the way of a dad trying to do what he thinks is best. For his son. Now the schmo is here interviewing you because the schmo's a big reader and uh, you talk about books. The schmo picked up one of your copies of Back from the Dead. You know this is the paperback. I read the hard the copy. Yeah we got the new cover on this one and this was very cool. So, so this was Mike Dubois from the Grateful Dead family who did all the artwork and there's tons of personalized artwork all throughout this book and I, I wrote every word of this as a New York Times bestseller and uh, just very happy, very proud. You're a champion, Bill. The schmo, the schmo really enjoyed the part where you went to Boston and talked about your time with Larry Legend. And when you picked up the dirt from his home, you still got that dirt? I still have the dirt. I took the dirt home. Larry was the greatest player I ever played with. Wait. Kareem was the greatest player I ever played against. Maurice Lucas was the greatest teammate that I ever had. But Larry, Red, the Celtics, the people in New England, they didn't give me my career back. They gave me my life back. I grew up a Celtic fan. I mean, Bill Russell was my guy, Red Auerbach, the cigars, and uh, all the other legends. What about the cigars? With Red, they're fine. I, I don't like them. Yeah, I'm myself. gonna say you're a healthy no. guy. I know you're into the good food, the quinoa. Yeah, I love I love health. Well, hey, can I get your John Hancock on this? I'm gonna get you out on there on that. Okay. That's fine. That's great. Schmo, the schmo, the schmo always keeps the pen with him. Keep a pen. I do. It's a sharpie or a pen. The schmo. The schmo. Okay. Yeah. And then we got the dire wolf. We got the harvest moon. We got the pyramids. We got the dancing bears. We got the cards. We got the ace of spades. We got the dancing turtles here. We got the motorcycle rider. We got all kinds of the original artwork from the Grateful Dead. We've got the steal your face logo on the basketball. We got all the roses. Mike Dubois, he did a phenomenal job with this. My dreams have come true. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, world, for making me the happiest and the luckiest guy ever. Because now I know the schmo, S-C-H-M-O, Bill with two L's. Two L's.